Ateneo de Manila University, was at the wrong end of an upset by a determined Adamson University on Sunday. With the soaring Falcons getting contributions from up and down their roster, they dropped a 74-70 upset axe on the defending champion Blue Eagles, sending a statement that they intend to contend for the championship. On the other hand, the kids from Katipunan didn't look like the team that wow just about everybody from the Phil Oil preseason to the William Jones Cup. In the end, Atenio shot a subpar 28% from the field and also gave up 19 turnovers which were quickly converted into 15 points. More than that, Adamson just seemed quicker to the ball for majority of the matchup. Even Blue Eagles mentor Tab Baldwin acknowledged such. If you're gonna point to one statistic, point to the fact that Adamson was hungrier when it came to the boards in the second half. If you're not the hungrier team, I don't care how good you are, you open the door up for your opponent, he told reporters post-game. He then continued, today, we weren't the hungrier team. Indeed, Coach Tab's boys were actually winning the battle on the boards in the first half before their opponents took it from them. The Soaring Falcons collared 36 of its 52 total rebounds and 14 of its 16 offensive rebounds in the second half, while Ateneo hauled in 29 of its 48 total rebounds and 11 of its 18 offensive rebounds in the same time frame. They did everything it took to win. They did what it took to win the game, Coach Tab said. With that kind of effort, Adamson proved that they just wanted it more. I think Adamson really deserved the win. They came out incredibly prepared first of all, and they wanted it more, 30 Ravina said. He then continued, they deserve credit for everything they've done, and they deserve the win.